Welcome to your evening yoga class to relax and unwind. This is a calming yoga class where we will be stretching the whole body, relieving any build up tension from the day and just leave the day behind in general. Really arrive in this moment, relax, calm down, ground down. We will not be doing any standing postures, but we will be close to the ground throughout this practice. If you wish, you could grab some props, maybe a blanket or a cushion if you want some cushioning, some support, but you don't need it. I will show to you everything without any props. My name is Yenny and my channel is all about yoga, meditation and a conscious lifestyle. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. It only takes a second and then get ready, take everything you need and meet me on your yoga mat. We begin today's class in a cross-legged seat, but instead of taking the heels close towards the bum, we take them further out. We cross the right shin in front of the left one and build kind of a triangular shape with our legs. So the lower legs are kind of parallel towards the edge of the mat, doesn't matter which one it is, which way you're looking, if you're looking to the front of the mat. And then just make sure you're sitting upright. If this is a bit intense for your hips, you could prop up your knees if you want to. And you can either stay exactly the way you are, or maybe you feel comfortable to come onto the fingertips and lean forward slightly. I will show it from the side. If you happen to have some space, the option would be to walk the hands even further front, maybe even coming onto the forearms or lowering all the way down with the upper body. If you wish to use anything for cushioning between you and the ground or between your upper body and the legs, that would be fine. But I want to remind you that these are all options of the same pose. You could just as well sit really nice and upright and focus on that opening of your hips. So whatever pose you chose or whatever variation of this pose you chose, I want to invite you to either close the eyes or lower your gaze if that's more comfortable. But really begin to withdraw from any visual stimulation, withdraw from the screen. You can just listen to my voice for now. Really focus your attention into this present moment, into your body. Notice how this pose feels, if you feel any tightness or any lengthening or whatever sensation it is that you observe, just give it your loving attention. Allow your breath to become a bit longer without forcing it. Just allow the feeling of calmness to spread in your body. Very good. Let's stay for three more deep breaths. Feel your hip joints opening. Maybe you've been sitting on a chair for a long time today. This should be kind of soothing. Maybe take an inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and softly side out. Good. And then walk the hands towards the upper body if you've come forward. And then grab a hold of your knees or your shins and lift your heart for a moment to lengthen through the spine. Little counter movement here. And then we begin circling the upper body around the navel, allowing the belly to relax a little bit, being massaged, being stimulated. We go three times in one direction. Big circles, kind of just massaging that center of the body. And then we circle the other way around. No rush here. You can take the shoulders along and the spine along or you could also do these movements rather up here and smaller whatever feels good for you now just loosening up the body and then come into your upright seat again changing the side so we cross the left leg in front of the right one or make sure you do the second side again see if you can bring those lower legs rather parallel to the edge of the mat which rather if whether it's the short one or the long one but open the legs a bit wider so the knees are kind of over the ankles relax the knees down if you need to put on some support and then see if you want to just stay here and sit upright or again walk forward just a little bit or even further down this is very individual on each body and on each day so try not to force anything but rather just find your way softly into your pose and then feel free to close the eyes or rest the gaze down and again focus on your breath 
And if you find yourself distracted, if there's still a lot going on in your head, then know that it's okay. It's just the job of your mind to think. Try not get involved with these thoughts. Just let them be. Just acknowledge, you know, your mind is thinking. That's okay. But you bring your attention back to the breath, back to the body. Allow the belly to soften on the inhale. And maybe on the exhale, it gives in a little bit more. Maybe you find some more room. We take another deep breath here. Feel free to, in between, take some nice and gentle sighs out. If you want to make any movements, any, any sounds I wanted to say of relief, you can always do so. And then walk the hands back towards the upper body. Again, sit up right, lengthen through the spine, lift the heart for a moment, pull the shoulders back. And then again, circle around the upper body three times in one direction. Good. And then three times into the other way. And then sit upright, release the legs, place the feet in front of you and you can keep them nice and wide, lean onto your hands, drop the knees over to the right side and then bring them over to the left side like a, like a little windshield sweeper and if this is comfortable when your knees are on the right, look over your left shoulder and then when the knees go to the left, look over the right. So you kind of have this counter movement in your neck, so your neck gets some movement with this double twisting action in the spine but very softly. Just loosening up a little bit here after this day. Good. And then come back to center. Cross your lower legs. You can push into the hands, roll over the feet, uncross the legs for a quadruped. Hands on the shoulders, knees under hips, and then push away from the ground. Take the navel in for a nice cat stretch. Chin into the chest, shoulder blades press apart. Draw the navel in, really round the back, and then drop the belly. Send the heart forward, pull the shoulders back, lift the tail, gentle curve. Very good. Let's do two more. Exhale, cat stretch, round the back. Inhale, lift the heart up, mobilizing the spine. Take the pelvis along the neck. Last one, exhale. And inhale, opening up. Good. Tuck your toes under, send the hips back. Walk the hands forward, maybe about one length of the hands for a downward facing dog. Send the hips back and up. And we'll take it very easy in the downward facing dog. You can bend the knees generously, but this is a nice way to lengthen up the back of the legs. So generously bend the knees, press the heels alternately towards the ground. Walk on the spot, maybe shake your head gently, yes and no. Very good. Just to release any tension in the neck, maybe release the jaw. Can take a deep breath in through the nose and then tongue out for lion's breath. Good. Let's do one more. Inhale, let it all out. Very good. Send the knees down from here. Keep the knees under the hips, upper legs, or thighs per perpendicular to the floor. Point the toes and then walk the hands even further front. You can either stay on the palms or come onto the fingertips, whatever is more comfortable for your shoulders. We drop the belly down, we drop the chest, mount the heart down towards the ground for Anahata Asana. You can either bring the chin down or the forehead, whatever is better for your neck. And if this is too much, just stay here. We want to open the shoulders and the chest. Sometimes we sit quite hunched over, over our laptops or our phones, so this is a nice counter stretch. Breathe into those armpits, into the chest. Drop the heart down to the ground. We stay for three. There we go, last one. And then walk the hands back towards the body. Place them down firmly. Come back down into your downward facing dog or up into your downward facing dog. Good. One more time. Pedal the legs. Bend the knees. Shake the head. 
And then walk the feet towards the center of the mat. Keep the feet nice and wide, even more than hip distance. Bend the knees generously so you can dangle the upper body in a soft forward fold. Grab a hold of your elbows, release the neck. Maybe again, soft yes and no. You can keep the knees bent as much as necessary. You can even place the belly on the thighs. And maybe swing the upper body a bit from side to side. Smooth breaths, very good. Stay for two more, soft forward fold. You can even bounce the knees if this allows you to let go of some tension. Good. And then release the hands, heel toe the feet apart till the edges of the mat, the toes point out for Malasana, squat, lower the hips down between the heels. If the heels come off the ground, that's okay. You can prop them up or just hover, that's also fine. Take the hands in front of the heart center. And then for a moment, interlace your fingers and circle your wrists. Depending on what you've been doing in your day, this should be a nice release for your wrists, for your hands. Circle the other way around as well. And then place the hands on top of each other, the palms, press the chest open, lift the heart, drop the bum, and keep the legs active. So softly press with the knees against the elbows, no strain in the knees, but feel those groins opening the hips. Allow the belly still to soften on your inhale, and on the exhale you can draw the belly softly inwards and up. Stay for two more deep breaths. Good, one more. Good, release the hands, bring the fingertips behind you, come to sit back down, bring the soles of the feet to touch, bring the heels close to the body, and we will fold forward. So if this is comfortable, you can bring the feet even further front. Open the feet slightly like you would open a book. You can even take out the flesh of your seat, so the, the muscles on your seat, so you can feel those bo bones on the ground. And again, you can stay up here all the way, a bit like we practiced in the beginning, or if you have space, you can walk further front. If you would like to use a prop, again, feel free to do so. You can build up some cushions here to lean forward, but it's really not necessary if you don't have any. You could also sit up here, feeling the inner thighs opening, the groins, the belly is being stimulated, the lower parts of the body. And if it's comfortable, you could even drop the head. But if that's too much for your spine, for the neck, then keep looking forward and make sure to not put any pressure. This is a wind down practice. So try and let go of that tendency of wanting to perform anything or achieve anything and really try and just be here. Observe what's happening in the pose and your breath. Hmm. Good, we stay for two more. One last breath. And then slowly walk the hands back towards the upper body. Use your hands maybe to bring the knees back together. If you feel any tension in the groins, then again, do that movement of the windshield sweeper just for a moment to release the hip joints, the groins. And then from here, extend that left leg forward and step the right foot over the left leg, outside of the left knee for a twisted seat. Hug the right knee in, lift the chest up, send the right arm up to create some space, and then twist the upper body open to the right. The right fingertips come down just softly for support. Don't lean onto that hand. Sit on both sits bones, reach up through the chest. Take your head along into the twist very softly. Your left leg stays kind of active, but if you feel like you're really falling onto your tailbone, then bend the knee a little bit more and lift up through the lower back. Feel free to close the eyes, rest the gaze, smooth breaths. Good. On your next inhale, come back to the center. On the exhale, we twist to the opposite direction and you can really softly round the back and puff up that upper back for a moment. Breathe into that upper back, release the neck. Good. And then sit upright. 
Bring the right foot over to the right side and bring the sole of the foot onto the inside of the left leg for Janu Shasana. Head to knee pose, it's called in English. Bend the knee if necessary. You don't want to sit on the rounded back. Sit upright. Maybe send the arms up to create some space and then hinge forward from the hips with a long back until you can't go any further and then drop the hands either to the ground, to the shin, to the foot. It doesn't quite matter. Send the heart forward and then softly melt over that leg. You can round the spine, it's fine. You can even drop the head, but you want to make sure that you're not pulling or pressing, but rather just let go. Use props if you want to, or just stay wherever you're comfortable. This pose could always look differently. You could sit all the way upright. You could be folding all the way over your leg. This is different for everybody, for every day. So be kind to yourself, be soft. Focus on your breath. Good. We stay for two more. One more deep breath. And then softly come back up. You can always use the hand for support. Press them into the ground. Now we will stay on the same side. Place the hands down to open your hip to the side. I will just sort of show it from the other side. Stay where you are. So your left leg is still pointing forward, but we're opening the hip to the side. We bring the left hand onto the inside of the left leg and then we lean over for a side stretch. Right arm goes over your ear. And this could be just a little bit. Maybe you want to stay up here. What we want is to open the side body. If you feel like you have a lot of space and you're flexible, you could go further down, reaching for the foot. But again, you could also be all the way up here. You could even bring the hand down the shoulder back if you feel any tension in your shoulder and your neck. Find the expression of this pose that works for you today. And breathe into this side body. Rest your gaze on one focus point. I'll just move back to the same side as you. Stay where you are. Enjoy the pose. Stay for two more. One last one. And then we come back up. Good. We bring the hips to face the front of the mat again. Slide the right leg out to the front. Bend the left leg. Step it over the right knee for our seated twist. Lift up through the spine. You can hug that leg in. Lift the left arm up. Twist open from the belly button. Left hand goes softly behind your left shoulder back. Head follows into the twist without straining the neck. Always check if your neck is in a comfortable position and check your jaw. We're often holding tension in the face when it's not even necessary. So feel free to release, make any movements. Nobody's watching you. And just focus on softening on the exhale. We stay for two more. And then on the next inhale, we come back to center and then soft counter twist to the second side, opening up the upper back, releasing the neck. No pressure here. Soft fold. Good. And then sit upright. Bring the left foot back over to the left side, drop the knee out to the side. Sole of the left foot comes into the inside of the right thigh and again remember whenever you're sitting with a really rounded back bend that leg or maybe sit on a folded blanket just make sure you're nice and long in your lower back reach the arms up hinge forward from the hips with a long back belly towards the thigh and whenever you're ready release the hands down heart forward and then just release surrender down into your forward fold no need to press to push to pull or rather just focus on letting go Focus on your breathing. Good. We take two more deep breaths here. And then we sit back upright. 
we keep the right leg extended, we open the hip to the side, we bring the right hand onto the right inside of the knee, and then we send the arm over. All right, good, side stretch. You wanna open the left side of the body. I'm gonna show it again, the way it would look for you when I mirror you. So make sure you just go as far as is comfortable to open up that side body. Make sure your neck is relaxed, rest the gaze on one focus point. Whenever you have your final position, you can withdraw from the screen and really focus on yourself and your own body. Last two breaths here. Good, then slowly come back up. Extend both of the legs towards the front side of the mat and then just give your knees a little bounce so your legs can relax. Drop your feet from side to side, very good. And then stand the feet up, scooch to the center of your mat and lay down on your back, very good. Take one knee up to the chest and then the other, but keep the knees nice and apart towards the armpits. Press the lower back into the mat. Lift the heart up so the whole spine is grounded down on the mat. And you can choose to stay this way or you grab a hold of your ankles or maybe even the outside edges of your feet for a happy baby, pulling the knees into the elbows, pressing the lower back down into the ground if it comes off the ground, rather stay with the legs bent. And then you can roll a bit from side to side if you want, massaging the lower back against the ground. Good. And then from here, release. Take one knee in each hand and make some big circles, releasing any tension in the groins, in the belly area, in the back. So knees apart and then towards each other, changing the direction. Good. And then from here, stretch out on your mat for a Shavasana. Really give a lot of space to your arms, to your legs, your palms facing up to the sky in a gesture of surrender. Maybe lift your upper back by pressing the back of your head down, broaden the shoulder blades and then lay them down. Softly tilt your head, yes and no, neck relaxes, eyes closed. Empty out your lungs, no matter where you are with your breath. Empty, 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 exhale. And then inhale fully, take your time, fill the lungs with air. Hold at the top for three, two, one. Open the mouth and let it all go. And then let your body sink heavily into the ground. Release the breath. Release any control over your thoughts. Whatever is happening in your head is fine. You can just let those thoughts come and go without being attached to them, without analyzing. Just take a couple of moments for yourself here in this practice, in this pose of Shavasana, which allows us to be fully present yet fully relaxed. They're free to stay for as long as it feels soothing for you today. And then take that feeling of relaxation with you into your evening, maybe directly into your deep sleep. Thank you so much for your practice. I will see you in the next video.